Hi guys! Welcome to another Tim and Ethan's video! This video is all about my dad's passion for teaching! Hope you like it guys! Hi! Welcome to this online tutorial. My name is Armand Serrano, your teacher today. Welcome to New Normal Science. Our lesson for today is the periodic table of elements. What is periodic table? The periodic table is a tabular array of the chemical elements organized by atomic number from the element with the lowest atomic number, hydrogen, to the element with the highest atomic number, organism. What are the different parts of the periodic table? Let's explore. We have the groups and we have the periods. What is group? Groups of vertical columns in the periodic table. So where are the vertical columns in the periodic table? So we have group 1, group 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Primarily, these 18 columns or groups in the periodic table is divided into two main groups. We have group A or representative elements and group B, the transition elements. So we have group 1A, group 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and 8A. Later, we will name these different families or groups in the periodic table. What about periods? Where is it located? Periods are horizontal rows in the periodic table. So we have period 1 with the least number of elements, period 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 6 and 7 has the most number of elements. Later on, with the next video presentation or tutorial, I will teach you how to use these groups and period for you to determine the location of the elements in the periodic table. Then we have the different classification of elements in the periodic table. We have metals, non-metals, and we have metalloids or semi-metals. Let's have the different families or groups in the periodic table. If you know the answer to this one, just follow me. So we have the group 1A. Very good. Alkali metals. What about group 2A? Very good. Alkaline earth metals. Then we have group 3A. Yes. Borrowed family. We have group 4A. Very good. Carbon family. We have group 5A. Wow. Excellent. Nitrogen family. Group 6A, chalcogen family, magnificent. Group 7A, halogen family. Then last but not the least, we have noble gases. What is the other name for noble gases? Very good, inert gases. What about the middle portion of the periodic table? This is transition metals. Transition metals is extended up to this part, this ladder or boundary, metals between non-metals. So these are the metalloids, the seven metalloids. Then what about the bottom part? We have inner transition metals. Inner transition metals is divided into two groups or two rows 
the inner transition metals is actually located in this area. Since it has many elements, it was taken out so that the periodic table will not become very long or wide. So it's called inner transition metals. So the two groups in the inner transition metals are we have lanthanides or very good, the rare earth elements and the actinides, they are known for being radioactive. Very good. So let us recap or review the different families or groups in the periodic table. We have alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, boron family, carbon family, nitrogen family, chalcogen family, halogen family, and noble gases. Then we have transition metals, inner transition metals, lanthanides, and actinides. Hope you like it, guys, and hope you learned something today. Our next lesson is periodic table properties. So you will know the different properties of the periodic table when it comes to its atomic radius, ionization energy, electron affinity, metallic character, non-metallic character, electron affinity, ionization energy, and their atomic radius. So there are so much more to learn and understand with regards to chemistry. So this is just the periodic table of elements. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the red button.